Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord. You that by night stand in the house of the Lord, lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord who made heaven and earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness and so we say together, most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But ere we sleep, we seek to hear from God in his word. Tonight we listen to Exodus 33, verse 20, where the Lord said to Moses, No one is able to see my face, since to do so would bring inevitable death. The Lord's words to Moses are salutary. All we behold of God is as in a reflection, or as medieval teachers said, a cloud of unknowing. We catch but glimpses of one way beyond human comprehension. Yet while we cannot see, we can love and worship not least since in Jesus God has made himself known to us at our level. Lord Jesus, in you we see the face of God in so far as this is possible for us. What we see is unutterably beautiful, overwhelmingly lovely, and we love you and we worship you. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so may the Lord our God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace. <laughs>